Welcome back guys. So the last video we actually just replaced the aircon belt which was the only thing that was wrong. We're moving the scoop and putting the scoop back and so on and so forth. And I think we also sorted out the little oil leak that was here on the steering pump which was due to that little pipe or oil leaking from that pipe. So today we are going to try and sort out this uh, water leak that is there. Hi guys feel free to subscribe to my channel and also remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my future uploads also give me a thumbs up for this video it will really help the channel out alternatively you can also go and check out my webpage if you go to the podcast panel you will find out whatever books I'm busy working on or doing podcasts that I'm busy working on and also next will be the Crypto Life page where we will discuss interesting news of the week as well as play some interesting copy free music and lastly you can also go to the Cryptzone YouTube channel page where you can subscribe or check out one of my videos that I have posted or see what else I'm busy working on hyperlinks are available on all three of those pages and I will also add the link to the web page down in the description below once again, thanks for your support. I need to take off the whole air intake. Okay, so I'm going to start by loosening all these bolts that's there and the ones uh, there. I'm going to start uh, stripping those, take those out and it should loosen the whole, the whole air intake. And then I'll see what's, what comes with it so we can loosen some of these cables and plugs and see how we can slide it out without having to loosen too many things okay okay guys all I did now is I loosened this plate with the little torque screws there because the one bolt that I needed to loosen is right under this plate so uh, I just uh, loosened that cover and I loosened all the bolts on this side so let me proceed to take them all out okay guys so there's our problem that's where the water leak is so we are going to see if we can loosen those two bolts and see if we can take that plastic off and see if we can get a new one tomorrow. Okay guys, here we've got the problem. I think this thing has cracked. Okay guys, this o-ring is done and it broke there, you see. This thing is so brittle, it's, it's breaking for nothing. Now I'm trying, trying to get it off this connector, but fuck it's stuck. I'm really struggling to get this thing off. But I'm gonna have to, I have to buy a new fitting like this, and obviously a new square ring because it's not an O-ring, and then we can assemble the car again tomorrow. Morning, guys. Um, well, it is a the it's actually Christmas Eve. It's the day before Christmas, and we are waiting for spares. I did receive that. Uh, flange that goes on there, so I'm going to put it on now today um, And then I'm going to start well just cleaning everything so I'm waiting for this for this pipe Because I cut it off. I had to order the whole the whole new pipe and it's bloody expensive But it'll only be here on the 29th so uh, what I'm doing today while I'm calm and I have time I'm just going to uh, clean everything and just inspect all the electrical cables and stuff and make sure I didn't mess up anything when I took off that back cover. Uh, I just replaced the speakers yesterday so it sounds great, um, well it at least doesn't sound worse than it was but it sounds better and uh, yeah I'm just gonna quickly clean that. I'm just gonna use some scotch bright scotch guard and just scrape off all that sediment and everything there that's uh, on that flange and then we'll put the new flange on there and then we can at least connect that small pipe and um, then we'll see if we can take this one off here we go that looks better I think at least it's clean and uh, it feels smooth all around so there's no high spots or any things stuck there that's gonna prevent the uh, fitting from sealing so uh, I think we can put that flange back so let's do that there we go the fitting is on 
and secure and then I'm just gonna connect this pipe back and remember on the inside of this pipe it's got an o-ring how can I show you guys this see it's got a, a o-ring over there that is an o-ring just make sure that surface is nice and clean so that um, when you put it on it can um, make sure it seals on this edge there we go guys that pipe is on I've secured it it looks good the bolts are nice and secure the seal is on unfortunately if I want to test it I first have to put the whole air intake back start the car see if it's leaking water before I put the final covers on and if it's leaking water I'm gonna have to take the then the whole air intake out again just to tighten those bolts a bit more but I think I've tightened it more than enough I'm scared to over tighten it because it's plastic and it's a 10 mil and it's got the o-ring or the seal I don't want to tighten it too much this is actually so funny um, just as I finished putting up the flange the guys from Goldwagen phoned me and told me the radiator pipe is there so the wife is quickly going to pick it up and I'm going to take the old one off so long <laughs> Well, since the pipe is coming, I'm just spending some time now cleaning all the dust and shit out between the pipes and everything. Double checking that all the cables are still um, in place and not damaged or anything. Like here, this was loose, so I put a cable tie on there to make sure that the cable stays within the, the bracket. And it seems to me I'm... <laughs> this might be my next problem. Diesel leaking. I don't know what is... I don't know what was rubbing against it maybe it was the air intake but this is going to become a problem later on so all I'm doing now I'm just uh, cleaning what I can clean while I'm waiting for the pipe okay all the contact surfaces has been cleaned I'm just gonna see if I can take most of that black marks off there so it's nice when I put the air intake in and of course this as well I cleaned all this contact surfaces as well so now I'm just waiting for the pipe the moment the pipe gets here we can put it together I wish I could start this engine without having to put the air intake manifold back uh, just to test the pipe but I'm confident the pipe is fine so guys I found a little problem on this vacuum pipe as you guys can see the pipe has perished so I'm just gonna cut it off there and put the pipe back in there we go, problem solved. There we go, the new pipe is on, clipped in, and now we can put up the air intake and start the car and see if the bloody thing is leaking. But it shouldn't. Okay, I've just put the air intake manifold on. Now I need to connect all the pipes, electrical cables, and then we can start tying it down. Okay, just a quick update for you guys. So, I've put up the vacuum pipe and the plugs that goes underneath the air intake. I've tightened the, well, dipstick to the manifold. All the manifold bolts are tight and in place. And I secured this harness. So, all I'm going to do now is uh, this pipe and this pipe. And then I can start the car. Okay guys, everything is on that I think is necessary to start the car to test the water leak. All that remains is all the plastic covers that needs to come on, which is just like the final touches. The car starts now and I can bleed the, the, the radiator and uh, make sure nothing is leaking. Then we can put the covers on and maybe go to work with the car tonight. So shall we start it? Okay guys, just a final note that I've discovered today. Don't get disheartened if something goes wrong the first time. Shit happens. I was extremely negative about um, the car not starting. I thought maybe I messed up something and it really um, brings you down, you know. But after, so the, the point is, if you take off an air intake manifold, you, you break the vacuums on the system. I think that's what happened. So, when I replaced everything, the battery was obviously too flat to start the car. I needed something stronger. Jump starting it didn't work because the battery in my wife's car is too small. Getting a charger pack 
didn't work because it was too weak. Then I got a, a bigger battery from my father-in-law and I had to crank it quite a lot of times. I cranked, I continuously cranked it for about two minutes and as you crank it, I think the system starts building up the vacuums again. Everything starts moving back into place, if I can put it like that. And once it started, problems was over. It idled nicely. Um, I even took it now for a test drive. It pulls perfectly. Everything is like it should be. There's no water leaks. I bled the water system. And the other thing is, I put the old battery back. The one that was flat, I put it back. And I, then I jump started it with that power pack and first try it started. And uh, afterwards I drove around with it obviously to charge the battery. So it's starting on its own with its own battery. So everything's sorted. Um, so if it doesn't start the first time, remember it's still, it has to build up everything. Again. You have to get fuel back into the system. You have to get the vacuums back into the system. Your battery needs to be strong enough to crank it for about a minute continuously without it pulling dead and uh, look at this <laughs> look at how long this grass has become in two weeks where the car was standing so uh, guess what I'm gonna be doing now I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna mow the lawn I have to it looks terrible so thanks for watching guys uh, thanks for supporting this channel um, I hope you guys will have an awesome new year i hope you enjoyed the new intro drop me a comment let me know what you think about our new intro for the new year and uh, yeah remember to subscribe to this channel give me a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, i'll see you guys then next year cheers